my herbal garden is a sweet medicine for me. In my herbal garden is what inspired this melody. So burn, put your two lungs to work. Oh, What's up, tubers? It's anonymous grower here. I'm gonna show you how I repot my uh, bitches. So uh, you can see I have one here that I've already repotted. This is triple X GDP under uh, T5. Doing good. I got a couple of little Walmart. I don't even know what these are called. These little lights here, but I got a couple of them on either side. Give it a little uh, extra light. Um, but this closet really only has room for one five gallon pot. So, uh, this is going to get repotted and sent outside. I'm sure she'll love it. And I will love seeing her out there. Um, this one I repotted last week. And it was just starting to get a little root bound. This one I waited a whole extra week because I didn't have time. And uh, I don't know what it's going to look like in there. I hope it's all right. Um, so I got uh, Fox Farm organic soil. This is an all organic grow up to this date. And uh, this I'm going to try a little bit of the mainstream grow medium. I don't even remember what I bought, but uh, it's going outside. So don't really care. All right, uh, let's repot this. Oh, first things first. First thing is first. Now we can get started. All right, see you in a sec. So I got this five gallon bucket from a big home box store. And uh, I just need to drill a bunch of holes in it. So I have a three eighths inch, three eighths inch drill bit. And I'm just gonna punch a bunch of holes into the bottom of it. That's what she looks like when she's done. You could put more. Uh, this works for me. I just want to make sure all the water drains out. I like to have good drainage. Um, so to prevent the soil from dropping uh, in there, I have these clay pebbles for a little hydroponics uh, experiment I'm going to be working on soon. I'll, uh, I'll make sure I, I post that for sure. And I just like to cover the bottom to keep the dirt from draining out. These were all rinsed. Put that on the dust. And uh, yeah, moving on to soil. All right, so I want to uh, fill the pot up, or the, the five gallon bucket up and then set this in here, try to get an idea of the level. I wanna have a little lip here to keep the, the water in and going down. Um, the soil doesn't look bad. I, mean, I didn't really look and see what was in it. I, mean, I can see there's some vermiculite, there's some peat, uh, some wood chips. Um, it doesn't look bad at all. It's really nice and fluffy and airy. So we'll see what happens. Let's get this baby. Alright, so what we want to do is remove the plant from the one gallon pot, obviously. Um, Let's see what we have. Well, as you can see, she is definitely root bound. Let's give her some room to grow. Oh, this Fox Farm soil is, is excellent. Let's see if I can put a link to that in the description somewhere for you guys. I um, highly recommend it. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. All we want to do is uh, center it, make sure that I uh, have some room for the top water to sink in. So I wanted a good inch or two below the uh, ledge. Center it up and, and fill in the gaps of 
with dirt. I don't need to bore you with this. You, I'm sure you know how to do it or we'll figure it out. Just put it in there nicely, tamp it down firmly, um, be gentle. But uh, when you water it for the first time, you'll notice a bunch of sinkholes. And uh, so let's try to avoid that. We want all the roots to be in contact with the moist soil when we're done. All right, I'll be right back. There she is in her new home. Um, I got about one and a half to two inch lip all the way around. I like to fill this up with water and uh, just let it drain right on through. Um, as you can tell by my YouTube name, Anonymous Grower, I like to uh, fly under the radar and I realized one of the easiest ways to do it is by growing right out in the open. Um, I have some blue dream right here. I got my maters. Lots of tomatoes growing. Lots of tomatoes growing back here. Every plant has them going now. Um, it's early May. And these things are just tearing it up. Uh, got some chili peppers over there. And I got these garden boxes because I have a desert tortoise. That just likes to eat everything he can get his hands on. So, anyways, that's the triple X GDP. I'm gonna give her some water now, and uh, I'll keep you updated on how she's doing. All right. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. I'll keep these videos coming. I promise.